A civil society group has now commended the participation of persons living with disabilities during the 2019 governorship election in Kogi State. This was made known during the public presentation of Breaking the Barriers Accessibility Audit Report done after the state election. The group also urged the Independent National Electoral Commission to implement recommendations made in the report before the 2020 off-cycle elections in Edo and on those states as well as the 2023 general election. Services Kemi Balogo was there. Nigeria accounts for about 28 million persons living with disabilities and the Independent National Electoral Commission had pledged to ensure that 25 million people with disabilities participated in the 2019 elections. The electoral body committed to expanding the electoral space by ensuring that persons with disabilities were brought in fully for an effective participation in the electoral process. The commission has been building its own data and through the CBR uh, continuous voter registration process. But we know that we already have people on the register whose whose uh, disability status was not captured. So this kind of study helps us to uh, get, get, get more information. And I hope that um, uh, inclusive friends and other organizations within the Access Nigeria. But this report on the Disability Votes Matter campaign does not believe enough was done to fully integrate persons with disabilities in Nigeria's political and electoral processes. The Access Nigeria campaign collected Nigeria's first set of representative data on the barriers that persons with disabilities face on election day during the off-circle governorship election in Edo, in 2016, Ondo also in 2016, and in Kogi State in 2019. This previously non-existent data continues to form the basis for evidence-based advocacy to INEC by organizations of persons with disabilities and critical actions by the Commission. We are proud that the Access Nigeria campaigns work with INEC assisted many of these citizens to vote independently for the first time in their lives during the elections in 2018 and in 2019, following the introduction of such innovations as the Braille Ballot Guide and specific uh, PWD-specific election day voting instructions. Accessibility challenges, stigmas and stereotypes continue to persist and undermine the ability of persons with disabilities to participate in electoral and political activities. This group is calling for improved measures from the electoral umpire to overcome these challenges. We all know that as enshrined in the constitution of your country, the right to vote is not discriminated. It includes everyone. The right also to participate in the electoral and democratization process of Nigeria is for everyone. The group also calls on all partners to ensure peaceful and safe elections, which would be of great benefit to Nigerians with disabilities and all voters before, during and after election day. Now one of the key short-term recommendations coming off the launch of this report says that INEC should amend Article 3B of its 2019 guidelines for the conduct of elections and this will include um, a guide to the location, setup and relocation of polling units. Now this they say will help in the inclusiveness of persons living with disabilities, especially for future elections. Kemi Balogun, TVC News, Abuja.